Hey guys, Lincoln Parks here, founder of Platinum Leverage and co-founder of the Hyperthink Network. Today, what I want to talk to you guys about is web hosting. Just a little bit about web hosting. Where does your website go? How is your website hosted? Where does it go? How does your website get out on the internet? What happens? What's the whole process? I want to talk to you guys a little bit about that. Um, I'm going to be drawing on the board. I just want you guys to follow along with me. So we're going to be talking about web hosting today and we're just going to go through some brief information really quickly so um, you can see exactly what happens when you sign up um, for your website so there are a few web hosting companies out there um, I've worked for web hosting companies now for the past 12 13 years so um, the web host that I use personally is called Bluehost so that's uh, bluehost.com um, they're pretty good also there's another company called Host Gator.com and you can check out those websites and you can go there and you can create a domain for yourself. A domain is just something like um, www.linkinparks.com Okay, that's your domain name and usually a domain name is somewhere around about $6 to $12 a year. Um, you pay for your domain, okay? Web hosting, web hosting, a web host is what hosts your website. So your website consists of files, all right, files on your website. Then uh, I have my video phone ringing here. Hold on a second. Hello? Hey. Doing good. How are you doing? All right, I, I I can't see you. <laughs> you might have to um you might have to restart your uh restart your uh, unplug it and then plug it back in again. And then um then you could give us a call back. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hey guys, sorry about that. That was a call I just got from my uh, mother-in-law. She was calling on the uh, video phone. She want, I guess she wanted to see my daughter and uh, talk to her. But, okay, your website consists of files, right? So you have files on your um, website. And these are just your web pages. And then um, you have your images. Okay, so you have images. And then you have videos. And you have all that stuff on your website. Okay? So this is your website right here. All this is your website and it's hosted on a web server. Now web server is what the companies like Bluehost and HostGator and those type companies. Now a hosting account can cost somewhere around about I'd say $6.95, $4.95 per month um, and you pay up front usually less than a hundred bucks and you can host your website. Your domain name is around about six bucks um, for the year, between 12 bucks for the year. You can go ahead and host your website there. Now, um, what you need to do at that point is once, once you have your space, they're going to give you some space on these servers here. So um, what these servers are, these servers are just boxes. So let me get rid of that. So these servers, it's just a box like this. It's a physical computer. So it's a computer, but they call it a server because it hosts websites. And um, say your website is here. All right. Somebody else's website is here. Somebody else's website is here, here, here. And all of these are websites that are on this web server. Okay. Web server. And what that does is um, the web server is connected to the internet and it allows, it points to your www address that you register with your domain host. So once you do that, then you get some space on here. And once you get some space on here and people type in that www, then it's displayed on the internet. Okay? There's more that goes into that, but I just wanted to give you the concept of, of how this works. Then, on top of that, what you want to do is um, they're going to give you probably a username and password to log into your control panel. So you would have a control panel. And how do you get your files from your computer that you've created up to the internet? Okay? You, they would give you something called FTP. 
all right? And that's file transfer protocol. And what that does is it's a username and password that gives you access to connect to your site on this server. So you connect to the site, then you can see all of your files, you can make changes, and then you connect and you push it over to the internet. Okay, it's real simple. I'm going to do a screencast on this so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. But this is sort of like an overview of what happens here. Okay, so you get, you sign up for your, your domain name, you get your web hosting account, you have some space on the server, um, they give you an FTP account with your username and password, and you're able to take your files from this server or from your computer to this server, and then now people are able to see this online, and they're able to see what you're doing. So this is the process, what goes through um, for your web hosting. I'm going to do a screencast on this so you guys can see exactly how this whole process works and what you need to do but if you're not online go ahead and get online go ahead and get a domain right now I have over I think about 200 domains that I have um, that's out there on the internet some are active some are not active but get started get your domain get your name LincolnParks.com is mine you're here on my website today I hope you're enjoying this I hope you enjoyed this video um, just an overview something that you can take a look at to see you know what happens what happens behind the scenes and I'm we're gonna go a little bit more in depth in part two of this video, I'll show you the nuts and bolts of FTP servers and all that stuff and how that works. So I hope that didn't go over your head. I hope, you know, I explained that eloquently. Um, but in the second video, stay tuned for that tomorrow. And you'll probably see exactly how I break this down. And you'll see for yourself how this all works. So this is Lincoln Parks, guys. My mother-in-law is going to call me back on the video phone. So I got to go talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.